in this month of Elul September, suddenly, suddenly, there's going to be revivals breaking out all across the earth. I'm telling you, people, God, suddenly, the Lord is going to do something in your life. Shabo Somonda, if you receive it, lift up your hands right now. This is a, a very important month. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. This is the last month of this Hebrew year. Holy Ghost. I want to give you a prophetic word today uh, about the month of September. I'm really excited. And do give us some hearts, likes, and share, share, share. Because this word is going to be packed. It's going to be loaded. First and foremost, uh, I welcome you all. My name is Ben Lim. Uh, I'm the senior pastor of His Way Life, CEO of Ben Lim Ministries. And uh, tonight, uh, if you're in the LA area, you better come. I have friends from Vegas coming in. All right, tonight uh, we're going to be doing a special anointing service, okay? I believe this is a critical month, okay? Listen listen to me, people of God. I believe this month of September is a month of suddenly. Someone say suddenly, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exasperate. I'm going to break it all down here. So I hope you guys have some time to listen because I'm prophesying into this month. I'm prophesying into your spirit. I'm prophesying into this destiny. Okay, I believe that September is a month of suddenly. Somebody write that down. September is a month of suddenly. And why is that? Here, let me break it down prophetically. And let me give you uh, some understanding <clears throat> about the signs of the time. This is the last month of this Hebrew year. Okay, we are in the Hebrew year 5779. We're about to enter into 5780, okay? Now, I'm going to do a whole other teaching on that in the next few weeks, okay? Praise the Lord. But this is the last month, September, okay? This is the month in the Hebrew calendar called Elul. E-L-U-L. -L. Somebody write Elul, all right? This is the month of the Hebrew calendar of Elul, <clears throat> and which, which is the last month of this year, okay? And once again, the last, all right, it's the 12th month of this year. And and uh, this is uh, th this month is in preparation. Someone say preparation. It is the preparation month for the high holy days. Okay. Now, if you don't know, the high holy days is ten days of all. I'm sure you've heard that before. Ten straight days of awe signs and wonders of the awesome power of god of uh, we call it the high holy days because these are days where there's so much sacrifice repentance turning of heads turning around and there's a, so much preparation for the high holy days because it's the peak all right, imagine you're climbing a mountain. It's the peak of the whole year. It's the climax. It's the climactic. Like, you know, when you're watching a movie, you know that you're about to enter a, the climactic scene. It's the highest peak, okay? So this month, we are in the preparation for that climax of this whole final year. And I want to tell you this, that um, in this month of Elul, every single day, the priests will blow the shofar trumpet, okay? You may see me blowing the shofar at His Well Life, at my church, some of the meetings. But this is the month. Every single day, the priests blow shofar blasts, except for Shabbat, which is Saturday. But every single day of this month, there are shofar blasts that are being released in the air. And let me tell you why that is so significant. The reason why shofar blasts are so significant is because it releases a sound and a frequency that begins to stir people up. That's why I believe September is a month of suddenly, sudden breakthrough, sudden victory, sudden glory, sudden power, sudden miracles. Because when you release a shofar blast, there's a sound and a frequency aligned with heaven from the Spirit of God. So therefore, every single day, it is releasing breakthrough in the spiritual realm and in the atmosphere. Okay, now get this. I have four points here today for you, whether you're watching now live or on the replay. All right, but <clears throat> what the shofar blast does, I remember the Lord gave me this rev revelation years ago. What the shofar blast does, it releases the power of the second coming of Jesus. It releases the power of the second coming of Jesus. <clears throat> and we all know, all of us who study end times eschatology, you know, the Bible says, Behold, he comes riding on the clouds at the shofar blast, at the trumpet blast. Come on now. Every single day, you will shout for victory. Every single day, you will release a sound. You release a shout. You release a sound of victory every single day of this month. You're going to open up your mouth, and you're going to declare the praises of God. You're going to open up your mouth, and every single day of this month, you are going to be the shofar and you're going to experience the power of God that's going to come upon you in preparation because every single day as you blow, as the priest will blow the shofar blast every single day in preparation to the high holy days, what does it do? It, it attracts 
the second coming of Jesus. It attracts literally the power of the manifestation of the revelation of Jesus Christ. And it brings forth all of the angels and the angelic realm that encircles and encompasses our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, guys, hear me. So every single day of this month of Elo of September, today is actually the first day of Elio, September. All right, hallelujah. To every single day. So starting from today, uh, the priests of, in Israel would release shofar blasts all around the nation, all around the country. Imagine what would it sound like every morning, every single day, the priests of God all across America will begin to release shofar blasts. Awakening, awakening, awakening. There's a stirring, there's a sound, there's a frequency. Before there's a movement, there's a sound. And I believe in this month, September, I believe this is the month of suddenlies. So begin to shout. Begin to release a, a, a shout of hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah as the song goes. Begin to raise a hallelujah. Begin to shout. Because every single day of this month, there's going to be suddenly. If you believe that, someone say amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to tell you why I believe this month, Elul, and September is the month of suddenly. And every single one of you uh, logging on now, welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Praise the Lord. Happy September. Happy Sunday. And as I said earlier, I would love to see you at His Way Life today and Los Angeles uh, at 7 p.m. We are doing a special anointing service for this month. And as we're about to enter into uh, the the last few days of this Hebrew year, and we're about to enter into the new, someone say new. I'm telling you guys, this month, September, is a significant month. And let me tell you why uh, 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 this is such a significant month. I want to tell you this. August was a month, uh, again, of Menechem Av in the Hebrew. Menechem Av, Av, which means father. Menechem, which means comfort, okay, or the covering or the counsel. Okay, there was so much shaking that happened last month. Uh, and in this month, you're about to experience suddenlies and signs and wonders, okay? There was so much shaking that happened last month, all right, which was also, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they call it what the Av, right? Uh, the ninth of Av, which is the Tishba Av, which was the worst, most detrimental, destructive, historical day in all of the Jewish Israel history. Okay, that was the ninth, or excuse me, that was the tenth of last month. All right, I know I'm, I may be confusing you guys with a lot of these dates and Hebrew words. Hopefully not. Follow me. Are you following me? If you're following me, give me some hearts and likes. Okay, but you know, last month, literally in all of the Hebrew calendar, was Tishba Av, which was the most grievous worst historical day in all of Israel's history and all of biblical history. Why? Because Tishbaav, which is the 10th uh, of, of August, last month, it was the window where the Israelites rejected God and rejected the commandments of entering into the promised land. So what happened? They rather chose to stay in the wilderness than enter into the land of crossing over. And so therefore that became an open window. Years later, that was the same day, Tishba of, where the temple was destroyed. Years later, that was where the temple of Herod was also destroyed. So that's why it's it was it's one of the <clears throat> it actually is by the Talmud by the rabbis uh, the Tishba of and uh, last month you know it, it, it's a month of mourning it's a month of grieving it's a month of letting go but that's why there was so many things that I want to tell you this in this month of September the warfare is over I know many of you you've been going through warfare you've been going through ups and downs you've been going through questions you've been go, you know going through uh, bickering and and fighting but I want to tell you this about Spirit of God. In this month of September, you are going to experience suddenlies because the warfare is over. The battle is won. The victory is yours. The victory is at hand. So therefore, every single day of this month of Elul, you will release a victory shout. You will release a shofar blast. You will release a, a, a blast and a shout and a cry and, and a decree of the word of the Lord. And in this whole month, you're going to begin to experience suddenlies. It's going to begin to rain down upon you favor, grace, or oil, manna, dew, uh, wine. You're going to begin to experience the favor of the Lord in this month of September because it's the last month of the whole Hebrew year. If you're receiving this, someone say amen, hallelujah. Give me some hearts, likes, do share. Okay, I want to give you four words right now. Okay, uh, I want to give you four words right now, four points of what to expect in this month. And, and I'm telling you, this is all biblical. This is all revelatory by uh, the Hebraic uh, notion. And, uh, you know, I, I've been praying into this for, for months, okay? Uh, and uh, like I said earlier, guys, this week I'm going to be doing three Instagram lives, uh, okay? One with Jeff Jansen, one with Heaven is Speaking, and the next with Nate Johnston, okay? So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you better follow me because this week I'm going to be doing 
doing three different Instagram lives with these prophetic voices in Jesus name and also I'm going to be in Kauai and Hawaii Thursday Friday Saturday and then next Monday not tomorrow but next Monday I'm off to Africa so I'm going to say hallelujah we're off to Africa okay but I want to give you four points here all right number one uh September I believe it's the month of sun at least September uh number one uh it does a, it's a month of going low someone say low l-o-w it's a month of going low okay and I want to I want to say this right now in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 4 it says let all the high places be brought low and all the low places be brought up let all the high places be brought low and let all the low places be brought up the way up is down the way high is low. This is an upside down kingdom and the Lord is causing you to go low in this month because as you go low, he will lift you up. As you go low, he's going to draw near. So I believe in this month, there's an equalization that's happening. What does that mean? The tides are turning, things are shifting, and he's bringing the heads to be tails and the tails to be heads. That's why we're seeing so much, so many shifts right now in the spirit realm. Different leaders are, are falling. Different leaders are being exposed. Uh, different leaders are rising up. And you're like, who, who is this person coming out of the woodworks? Who is this person with another opinion, with another thoughts, you know, with another anointed thoughts, right? But then, you know, uh, this is a month in September of Elul where uh, things are being made low. What does that mean? That means that there's a preparation. Because whenever the king would come and ride through the wilderness, they would begin to even out the path and make things so even so that the chariot of the king would not stumble upon a plot, would not stumble upon a rock, would not trip and slip and fall, but the king would just ride smooth. And I'm telling you, people of God, the Lord is smoothing out this month. The Lord is causing the high places to be brought low, the Asherah poles, the idols, the me, myself, and I, all of the things that you've been thinking about, all the worries that you've been lifting up is being, being brought low. And this is a month in Jesus' name where uh, people are are going to go low, okay? What does that mean? Humble themselves. They're going to begin to repent, okay? This is a month of going low. Once again, it is a preparation month for the high holy days, okay? Literally in 28, 29 days, we're going to enter into Rosh Hashanah. We're going to enter into the high holy days, which is the head of the year, okay? But this month, go low. This month, go low. And I'm, I guarantee you guys, as you go low, the favor and the hand of God will lift you up. As you go low, you're going to experience breakthrough and suddenly, as you go low, as you partner with the spirit of humility and as you partner with the spirit of repentance in this month of September, you're going to begin to experience great suddenlies. You're going to begin to experience signs and wonders, the mir miraculous hand of God. Because in the last month, you went through a lot of warfare. You went through a lot of warfare and now... It, it's time to go low, people of God. All right, if you're receiving this, say amen. And I want to speak right now because I just felt this by the Spirit of God. If you've been going low and you've gone low and you're at a low place, you're at the bottom of the pit, you're at the bottom of, uh, of the food chain, whatever you say, if you feel like, you know, Pastor Ben, I've, I've already been low. Well, you know what? The Lord is about to show up. He's about to turn his face towards you. And, and I want to give you point number two because it's directly connected with going low. Point number two. I believe that in this month of Elo September, it is a month of love. Someone say love, okay? In this uh, September month of suddenlies, I believe that this is a month of love. Someone say love. Listen, Elul, L-E-L-U-L, -L -L, okay? In the Hebrew, this is the acronym for this month, okay? In the Hebrew, this is the acronym for this month, okay? Anile dodive dodili. Okay, I know I'm t talking a lot of, uh, no, this is not Yiddish, this is not gibberish, this is Hebrew, okay? Uh, this month of, of, uh, of uh, Elul or September, Elul, which is four Hebrew letters, okay? It's in the acronym of these words. Anile dodi ve dodi li. Anile dodi ve dodi li. And what does that mean? If you break that down, it's Song of Solomon's chapter 6, verse 3. I am my beloved's and he is mine. I'm feeling the Holy Ghost. This is a month, people have got to anile do di le do di vi, which means I am my beloved's and he is mine. Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 3. In this month of September, as you go low with the Lord, as you go low and humble yourself, the angel of the Lord will find favor upon you as Mary found favor in the sight of God. And in this month, I am my beloved and he is mine. You're going to be face to face with God. The Jews would say back to back where your back is going to be against the back of Jesus. 
where your face is going to be face to face with Jesus. This is a month of love. As you go low, you're going to experience love. Come on. If you're if you're receiving this, someone say amen. In September, this month of Elul, <clears throat> it's a month of love. How is that? Because as you go low, the Lord is going to be drawn near to you. He's going to be wooed to you. I, I want to tell you this right now, people of God. The Lord is being wooed to you as you humble yourself. The Bible says he gives grace to the humble, but he that detests the proud. He gives grace to the humble, but he detests the proud. And in this month, as you go low, I am my beloved's and he is mine. There's going to be no more warfare in your mind, no more competition of your thoughts, no more distraction in your emotions, in your heart, but he's going to be drawn near to you. I am my beloved's and he is mine. And you're going to experience the law of love. You're going to experience the completion of the law of love in this month. In this month of September, the last month of the Hebrew calendar year, you're going to experience Perfect love. I'm telling you, I know I'm talking to somebody here today. You're going to experience the perfect love that casts out all fear as you go low. Point number one in September, the month of settlements. Point number two, you're going to experience love. Amen. Hallelujah. I declare right now that you're going to begin to feel the garments of your father. You're going to begin to feel the garments of the love of God. You're going to begin to feel the talit, the prayer shawl of Jesus come around you and, and clothe you and cover you and protect you in this month. Nearness is our gird and you're going to feel the love of God. And I want to say this before I go to point number three. In this month of September of suddenly of Elul, you're, you're going to have a greater love for Jesus. You're going to experience the love of God, such nearness, such closeness where the air is so thin that there is no more veil. Come on, am I talking to somebody? And in this month, you're going to have so much love for others. Come on now. Because whenever you repent and whenever you humble yourself before the Lord, he will always give you his heart for the world. You better hear me. He will always give you his heart for the world. Whenever you worship Jesus, you don't just give him your heart, but he gives you his heart. Which means that you will have a spirit of brokenness, spirit of compassion, spirit of mourning for the world. And in this month of September, you're going to experience great love for the world. You're going to have compassion for your brother, compassion for your sister. You're going to begin to love. I'm telling you, the spirit of revival that's hitting the church. The spirit of revival that's hitting the bride of Christ. New love. I am my beloved and he is mine. September, Elul, A-L-U-L, four Hebrew letters. In this word of September of this month, it is broken down as an acronym, Anile Dodive Dodili, which means I am my beloved and he is mine. Bang, 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 bang. You're going to experience great love in this month. You're going to fulfill the law of love in this month. Come on now. Number three, I believe this month of September, the month of suddenlies, the last month of this Hebrew year calendar. In this month, you're going to experience a lift. Someone say lift. Listen, there's going to be a facelift that's going to happen. Okay? I know a lot of people come to Hollywood. A lot of people go to Seoul, Korea to get a facelift, Botox, to get a plastic surgery on your face. But listen, when you're in love, you don't need surgery. When you're in love, that is a surgery. When you're in love, when you're face to face with God, that means that you have favor on your face. That means your face reflects mirrors of every glory of God, which means that you are being lifted up. I'm telling you today, in this month, as every single day of this month, as there's shofar blast being released, as there's a sound of victory, as there's a shout of praise and triumphant victor victorious blast is being released every single day in this month. That's what the Jews will do. That's what the priests will do. As you do that in this month, as you experience that shout, that breaker anointing as bring release, in this month, you're going to be lifted up. High and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. You're going to experience a lifting up in this place. I'm telling you, lift up your heads, all you gates, all you people. Lift up your, head, your heads, all you ancient gates. I'm telling you guys, as you've gone low and as you learn to love, the Lord's going to lift you up. What does that mean? Suddenly, so what does that mean? Promotion. What does that mean? Acceleration. What does that mean? Elevation. The Lord is causing you to be elevated and to be promoted. That's why we're seeing so many new leaders rise up right now. We're seeing so many new voices. We're seeing so many new prophetic ministries being birthed right now. Because as you go low and learn to love, even in this month, you're going to see and experience the lifting of the Lord. His mighty hand will lift you up. His mighty hand will honor you. His mighty hand will exalt you. Come on now. As 
as you go low, as you choose to repent and reconcile and make the wrong things right, and as you walk in the ways of righteousness, in the paths of truth, as you do so, then he's going to lift you up. The Bible here says, John 3, 14, John 12, 32. As a son of man is lifted up, all men will be drawn to him. As Jesus is lifted up, all men will be drawn to him. Let me ask you this. What have you been lifting up? Have you been lifting up your problems? Have you been lifting up the warfare? Have you been lifting up your sin? Have you been lifting up your issue, your situation? What have you been lifting up? But in this month of September, I am my beloved and he is mine. You better hear this. Not only are you going to lift up the name of Jesus, but your beloved, your groom is going to lift you up. Not only will you lift him up in your mouth, in your hands, in your praises, but he will lift you up. I'm telling you here today, people of God, the Lord is about to lift you up. And when he exalts you, when he raises you up so he can kiss you face to face, as he does so, no man, no devil, no tactic, no no evil can come in between, can come near and can bring you down. I want to talk to you here, somebody here today. Okay, Yom Kippur. <clears throat> okay, Yom Kippur is the head of the year. Okay, Yom Kippur means the head of the year. What does that mean? The head of the year. Uh, the, are you guys learning today? Or are you guys receiving today? Am I, am I giving you too much? Yom Kippur means the head of the year, which means the beginning of the year. The head, what is the head? It means how you start. Okay, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, you will no longer be the tail, but you will be the head. You will not be the tail, but you will be the head. Come on now. You will not be the borrower, but you will be the lender. You will not be the taker, but you will be the giver. Amen? Come on. I know I'm preaching to somebody. But um, Yom Kippur, which means the head of the year. What does that mean? It means the head of of the scapegoat, the atoning sacrifice, the atonement sacrifice, the goat, the scapegoat, which was Jesus, the head of the year. Once a year, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the high priest would go into the Holy of Holies and release petition as he released sins of Israel through the head of the goat. That's why it's called the scapegoat, because Jesus was a scapegoat. Isaiah 53, he suffered and was wounded for our transgressions. And so as he, as the high priest would release the sins into the head of the scapegoat, now the blessings flowed through the head, the blessings of innocence, purity, and righteousness flowed through the head of the scapegoat of the lamb, Jesus Christ, into us, the body. This is the month, September, this is the month where he's going to lift up your heads. This is a month where you are going to become the head. This is the month where you are going to become the head. He's going to lift you up. Expect promotion. Expect sunnies. Expect visibility. All the hidden places are going to be exposed, be revealed, are going to be lifted up. In this month, he's going to lift you up, people of God. In this month, September, as you go low, as you learn to love, he's going to lift you up. Come on now. I'm telling you, people of God, promotions. Suddenly, elevation. Oh, it's going to be easy. Okay, I want to give you the last point here before I bring this to a close. If you're receiving, give us some hearts and likes. Even angry faces if you'd like. <clears throat> uh, the fourth point I want to prophesy into you in this month here. Okay, um, is life. Someone say life. Okay. Um, I believe that September, Elul, suddenly. Uh, the spirit of life. Is being released. Okay, you will not die, but you will live. You will not die, but you will live. Rosh Hashanah and the preparation to these high holy days. We are in the month of preparation. But this is a time where the books of life are opened up. And literally, this is the time, the month, the window where you will come face to face with God at the mercy seat or at the judgment day, the judgment seat, whatever you want to view it, however you want to view it. This is the time where the books of life are opened up and you come face to face with God. And it's either you go to the right of favor with the sheep or you go to the left with goats. Choose this day whom you will serve. Choose this day whom, whom you're going to serve. And this is a month where the books of life are open and the Lord begins to review and examine and introspect. He begins to say, he begins to ask, he begins to inquire and say, what did you do? How, how was your heart? 
you know, uh, how did you obey me? I desire obedience, not sacrifice. I desire mercy, not the fat of rams and bulls and goats. But this is a, a month where the Lord opens up the books of life and he begins to look into your soul. He begins to look into your destiny scroll. Your soul is your destiny scroll. I hope you guys heard that. Your soul is your destiny scroll. He opens up the books of life. He opens up your heart like he opened up the body of Jesus. Like he opened up the body of the sacrificed lamb. And as it was torn into, as he opens up your life, come on now. And in this month, as he opens up and as he examines the books of life, I believe in this month of September, Elul, you're going to experience the fullness of life. You're going to experience the fullness of life. Someone say hallelujah. You're going to experience the fullness of life. What does that mean? L'chaim. Which means the fullness of the breath of life. Which means that you're going to experience winds of change. Winds of destiny. You're going to be experience the winds, the Ruach Kodesh. The winds, the breath of God. In this month of September Elul. As you go low, as you learn to love. As you're being lifted up by the mighty hand of God. You're going to experience life. In abundance, Jesus Christ said, the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to give you life in abundance. Life all the more. Come on now. Life means vitality. It means strength. It means rejuvenation. It means youthfulness. Life means vitality, strength, rejuvenation, and youthfulness. This is what you're going to experience in this month. As you humble yourself, as you turn towards the Lord, in Jesus' name. I'm going to bring this to a close here before I pray for you, okay? If you're receiving, someone say amen, hallelujah. Give me some hearts and likes here. Um, <clears throat> I believe September is a month of suddenlies. This is the 12th, hear me, this is the last month of the whole Hebrew calendar, okay? You're going to experience suddenlies, signs and wonders. Things are going to shift in and out. The warfare is over. Bang, 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 bang. Okay? Um, in this month of September, um, it's the last month of the Hebrew year, which means it's the 12th, all right? 12, all right? 12, we all know there's 12 months, uh, you know, in the calendar. There's, uh, you know, 12 stands for the uh, 12 disciples, 12 tribes, 12 is governmental, okay? Amen? 12 is governmental. So this is the last month, <clears throat> this is the 12th month of this year, the final. Hear me now. So what does that mean? That means that this is a month of governmental shifting. This is a month of apostolic offices rotating and shifting around. <clears throat> this is a month of governmental fulfillments, governmental completion. And this is a month where offices, ministries, things are going to be shifted around because it's the last month of the year 12th. There's going to be a new apostolic order that's going to be released. There's going to be a new governmental order that's going to be released. This is a month where the Lord is giving people new mantles, new offices. God is bringing people new governmental authority. If you receive that, someone say amen. Hallelujah. Also, this is a month. Hear me. This is a month. And why, why is it a month of uh, governmental office and shift and change and suddenly? Because every single day. As the priest would blow the shofar blast. They don't do this in any other month. Only in this month. Only in this month of Elul, of September. Only in this month do they blow shofar blast every single day. Okay. What happens? When they blow the shofar blast, it begins to confuse or it begins to swirl the angels. Oh, I hope you guys hear me today. It begins to swirl the angels. Which means that the angels in the atmosphere begin to begin to be bewildered and astonished, and they begin to be drawn near in different ways. Which means that you're getting new angels. Which means there's new angelic assistants and assignments that are being assigned and aligned with you. Holy Spirit. Robo shaba samanda bo shaba bababayama. This is, this is such an important month, people of God. The Lord's reversing the table. He's overturning tables. He's reversing the curse. This is a month, man, 
I'm so whacked right now. I'm so whacked. <laughs> this is the month, September Elul, of suddenlies. And I want to pray right now, as you heed this word, as you heed this word, people of God, um, as you receive uh, this prophetic word to the mouth of the, this lowly vessel of the Lord, I, I want to speak into your spirit, all of you watching now live and on the replay. I'm telling you, there's a month of suddenly. So you're going to see great power, signs and wonders as you go low, as you humble yourself before God, as you grow in love. As you go low before the Lord, as you grow in love, as you feel the nearness, the strength, the love of the Father, as He begins to lift you up, I want to pray right now that that Jesus I want to pray right now people of God that he will not lose any of you I'm telling you right now as we're in the last month of this Hebrew year we're about to enter a new year and as I've been telling people it's not just about a new year it's about a new decade it's not just about a new year. It's about entering into a whole new decade. We're about to enter into a new year and a whole new decade. We're about to... It's, it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. It's not about how you start. I don't care if you started this Hebrew year. I don't care if you started this year. I don't care about how you started. I care about how you finish. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. He's the beginning and the end. The Aleph Tav. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. I don't care about how you start. I care about how you finish. And you may have had a horrible year. You may have gone through a lot of warfare, a lot of confusion, a lot of exasperation. You may have gone through hell and back. But in in this month of Eliola, September, suddenly the Lord can turn things around. Suddenly He can shift things. Suddenly things will be returned and reversed. And suddenly you'll be lifted up. I want to tell you people of God, do not lose heart. Do not grow faint. Because this is the month of suddenly. And in this month, these next 28, 29 days of Elul, of September before we enter into high holy days before we enter into high holy days I want to pray right now that the Lord will not lose any of you okay we've been hearing of so many reports of people leaving the church hashtag church hurt people losing their faith leaving their faith behind this is a month where we're about to end this year we're about to end this decade wow you're about to enter <laughs> to a new year into a new decade and I want to pray right now as we've this is a new day it's a new month September 1st I want to pray for you people of God that in this month of September suddenly I believe September is the month of suddenly in this month of Elul oh Shabbat Somonda I want to pray for you right now that the Lord will be Lord over all and that he will so bring you low and near and draw you that you'll be face to face with him in this month. Expect suddenly, expect signs and wonders. Praise the Lord. I want to pray right now because I could barely even talk. Lord, I pray for my friends here watching now and on the live on the replay facebook and on youtube instagram every social media platform father i pray that as we lift you up that you would draw all people to yourself you're not drawing people to a man you're not drawing people to a ministry you're not drawing people to a place you're drawing people to a realm in the spirit of god which is the Son of God, which is encountering the Messiah, encountering the Godhead, Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for all my friends, family watching now. I pray, Father, that um, that they would experience shifts and suddenlies and signs and wonders in this month, Lord. This is your month, people of God. Expect shofar blasts. The war is over. The war is finished. You went through hell and back. You went through warfare in the last month. But in this month, you're about to experience great suddenlies, 
promotion, elevation. You will be the head and not the tail. Yes, you. I declare right now that you will be the head and not the tail. You're going to experience suddenly elevation, promotion, lifting up. As you go low, as you go low, he will lift you up. As you learn to love, he will draw near. And as you're being lifted up, you will experience life in abundance. There's fresh life. Vitalization, revival, Holy Ghost. I'm telling you about the Spirit of God. In this month, there's going to be moves of God that's going to be sparked. In this month, there's going to be extended, protracted meetings all across the earth. In this month of a little September, suddenly, suddenly, there's going to be revivals breaking out all across the earth. I'm telling you, people of God, suddenly, the Lord is going to do something in your life. Shabo Somonda, if you receive it, lift up your hands right now. This is a, a very important month. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. It's the last month of this Hebrew year. Holy Ghost, I pray for you, people of God. I pray for you, people of God. Someone say amen. Hallelujah.